Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about seven questions that you should ask when buying a used car. These questions are really crucial and really important because they will allow you to know more and find out more about the vehicle that you will potentially be purchasing. Let's get right to it. Question number one, and in my opinion, the most important question, has the car been in any accidents? Now, it's important to ask this so that you know whether or not the car has been in an accident. Now, if you find out that the car has been in an accident, you can decide whether or not you want to purchase it. But what you don't want to happen is you don't want to buy the car thinking that it's accident free and then you later find out that it's been in an accident. So it's a really good idea to find out whether or not the car has been in any accidents before. And that's why it's important to ask this first question. Question number two. How many keys and remotes are included with the car purchase? Now, if you're just driving the car yourself, then this isn't really a huge deal to ask this question. But if you are planning on sharing the car with your spouse and potentially with your children, then you should be asking this question because you don't want to be passing around a single remote or a single key to four different people. You know, you want to know that there are more keys or remotes included or you want to know that that's going to be an added cost if you want to add more keys or remotes to the car after you have purchased it. Question number three, have any parts been upgraded or replaced? Now this is a good question to ask for two reasons. The first reason is that if something has been replaced, then you know that it's going to be a new part, a new part. So you know that let's say the timing belt will need to be replaced soon according to the maintenance schedule of the vehicle. But if it was replaced two months ago, then you can have the peace of mind knowing that that won't be an added expense because it's already been replaced. The second reason why this is a good question to ask is because if the person has upgraded a component, then you know that it's an aftermarket part. If the person says, I've upgraded the uh, exhaust of the exhaust of the car, I went to an aftermarket an exhaust, uh, exhaust system on the car. You know that that's an aftermarket part. It's not the original OEM part on the car. So that's very important to ask question number three. Question number four, has the car been rust proofed? Now, if you live in an area where there's no need for rust proofing, then it's not a huge deal to ask that question. I live in Canada and there's a lot of snow here, so rust proofing is very important where I live. So that's a question that you should ask. And if it has been rust proofed, you want to look for some signs of the rust proofing on the car just to make sure that the owner is being honest with you. Question number five, and this one is often overlooked. Does the air conditioning work? Now it's not only for you to use the air conditioning that you want to ask this question. You want to ask this question simply because to repair a broken air conditioner, to replace it, can get to be very expensive. So you want to know whether or not that, that is a potential cost later on. And if the owner says that the air conditioning works, just turn it on, make sure that it works. Make sure that the owner once again is being honest with you. Question number six, are there any leaks with the car? Now, if you're buying a car with leaks, it's important to know what the leaks are so that you can look at the potential repair cost for those leaks. So it's a really good idea to ask the owner this and then if they tell you that there aren't any leaks, look around, do a little bit of an inspection to make sure once again that they're being honest. If they do tell you that there are leaks, then you wanna look at the condition of those leaks because it can be a pinhole leak that is a very slow leak or it can be a more aggressive leak. You wanna basically know what you're getting yourself into when you buy the car, if you buy the car. And last but not least, Question number seven, this one is a very general question, but it's important to ask. Do you know of any problems or concerns with the vehicle? Now this is the owner's opportunity to tell you about any small little things that might be wrong with the vehicle. Maybe the ABS light on the dashboard comes on, maybe the airbag light is coming on, maybe one speaker doesn't work, maybe there's a tiny little knocking sound that they hear every once in a while. You really wanna ask this question because in hopes that the owner will be honest with you, you're gonna find out any little things that may be wrong with the vehicle and you know some of those things you might be able to leave them alone you might not even want to repair them if they're tiny and they don't cause any concern with safety but some of them you might want to look into repairing so that's your opportunity to to get the repair cost so all of these questions will allow you to get, allow you to get a better idea of what you're getting into when you buy a used car now 
when you find out all this information, you can use it as a leverage tool for bargaining when you're when you're talking about the price. If you know that after you buy the car, there's going to be at least two thousand dollars worth of costs that are associated with repairing things and fixing things, then maybe you can use that as leverage to get a thousand bucks off and tell the owner that you'll split that two thousand dollar repair cost with them. And by doing that, they'll give you a thousand dollars off because you know they're taking a hit of a thousand bucks and you're taking a hit of a thousand bucks. Either way, it's a good idea to ask these questions so that you know what you're getting into. And then you can make an educated decision on whether or not you want to actually go through with the purchase of that used vehicle. So those are seven questions that you should ask when buying a used car. Very, very important to ask those questions. It's very important. It's crucial to ask those questions. And if you think of any other questions that you should ask, let me know what they are in the comment section down below and be sure to subscribe for more great car videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.